Hey everyone, this is Ross, and we're going to do a quick comparison between two different fig varieties that a lot of people believe that they're the same. Um, and there's also a lot of people that believe that they're different. And I kind of want to sort through that, at least give my own opinion on it. Um, the variety on the right is Violet Support, and the variety on the left is Borges So Grease. And I'm not um, going to say that this is the end all be all answer, but this is my answer for this current time period in that, you know, these figs are gonna change. I have young trees of both of these. We rooted them as cuttings, we stuck them in the ground. Uh, they grew very nicely, they put out some fruits, they both seem very precocious. They both seem to do, behave in the same way, believe it or not. So I wanna show you guys the trees in just a moment when we're done looking at the fruits. Um, but I'm also in the camp that they're, they're different. I'm a little biased, at least right now, because I know a lot of people who have actually seen these two trees in person and say that they're different, um, at least in how they grow and how they act, when they fruit, um, you know, many characteristics that would really be convincing if you were to see them in person. Uh, the fruit may look the same, but uh, at least the characteristics of the tree itself or not. And I've also seen photos of this, of these fruits that look quite different. Um, you know, so I, I think, uh, personally, I, I'm just trying to put this idea, this controversy to rest for myself. Um, of course this can change and these figs will change because they're so young. They will change next year, the year after that, even the year after that. Um, you know, it's not a really fair comparison in this video. I just want to say that, but, um, uh, this is at least a pretty good idea, at least for my own mind. Um, so what I'm noticing now is really the shape. The shape is probably the, the leading indicator on a, on a variety. You know, something like the Col de Dom as an example. You wouldn't be able to recognize the Col de Doms without this, this neck, right? That's why they're actually named after their neck. Or even something like Grise de Saint Jean, which is really matching my Dn Manel, it has the right shape for a Grise de Saint Jean. Um, you know, colors can be different. Um, sizes can be different. There's a lot of things that can really be different with these, but the leading indicator, I think, with all figs is the, sh is the shape. If you got the right shape and the shapes match um, on average, you know, the shapes can change too. Don't get me wrong. And it's not just enough to have one fig right next to one fig. You need to have many figs and, and com constantly comparing them um, every time to really come to a definitive conclusion without genetic testing. I, it should also be noted that these two figs have been genetically tested because they are in the USDA's germplasm. And they did do a study on all the figs in the USDA's germplasm. And they found that these two to be the same, um, at least genetically, which uh, really would make you think, well, that should be enough, right? If they've been tested genetically, that means they must be the same. Well, the issue is that a lot of people don't have the Violet Sapor or the Borgia So Grease from the USDA's germplasm. Um, a lot of people have gotten them from the park, Prush Park in California, and that's what a lot of people sell. A lot of people who have made these varieties popular, they're their stock, their cuttings originate from that park. And that's actually where mine originate as well. So I can't really go off of what the USDA has because they might have different figs than are what are planted at the park. Even if the USDA had contributed cuttings and, and genetically, uh, genetic, genetic varieties to the park, um, we don't really know. We don't really know that everything's 100% exactly correct. We don't know who did this. Um, I think it's better to be um, a bit more suspicious than completely 100% sure of everything, right? Um, so I also am noticing here in the, not just the, or the shape, let's go back to the shape, is that there's a really long stem um, on the Borgia Stoke Reese. From here to here is a stem. It doesn't maybe look like a stem. It actually kind of looks like a continuation of the neck, but um, this is indeed a stem, and I don't know exactly. I have to go back and look at some of my other photos of this fig that I picked this year. Um, but I don't think they all have this net, this this stem on here. But they do all have a cr pretty crazy neck, and they all should be. Both of them should be more of a flatter fig. 
um, at least have a, a neck to them as they both do, but you can see the stem is a very different situation here. And even the shape looks quite different. The size is obviously quite different, but the size, we're not going off the size. Uh, there's many reasons why the size could be different and it is different in this particular situation. Um, I don't expect my porridge soak grease to be this big every time. Um, also, the sugar spots on the bottom, there's many of them uh, on the sides as well. Both of them are getting the same sugar spots, but what's weird is that the color isn't right this year because they're both young. They're both A lot of the figs that I've ripened off both of these varieties have been heavily shaded throughout the entirety of the year, so I can't, um, can't rely on the color. Uh, the only thing I really can rely on ex the exterior is really the shape and, uh, of course, that stem difference. So um, let's cut them open right now and see what we've got. I've noticed that the Borges Soak Grease has a lot of honey actually at the eye. And that just looks beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. That's impressive. Um, let's cut the Vila Sapor open. I'm getting bit here, guys, by mosquitoes. I'm trying to speed this video up. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking a lot. Oh, wow. So they do look very, very similar. Um, in fact, a lot of people even compare the both of them to Squirrel Black. And I could say, I could definitely see the similarity in here to Squirrel Black. Um, let's taste them. I, I definitely think the interior looks very similar, at least the color. The shape of it's so diff it's quite different because of the size that it's it's honestly difficult to say uh, you know if indeed they are the same by looking at the interior. Let's try the, the grease first. All right, first off, that's incredible. Wow. But it doesn't really remind me too much of Sakura Black. It does, but it doesn't. And I'm not really convinced that it isn't Sakura Black, but it, I'm not convinced that it is. But I'm leaning towards that it's just not. Let's try Sapor. Yeah, that's pretty damn similar. And, and you know what else? You can peel both of them. They both have the ability to be peeled. You can see that. Um, honestly, very similar, very similar texture. Let me show you guys how to peel this one. It's the same thing, it comes right off. Let's taste the skin individually and see if we can pick up anything up. Pick anything different about the skin. Skin tastes the same. It also feels the same. It seems to be the same hardness or softness and seems to be the same thickness. I mean, everything about this seems the same in terms of the flavor, that's for damn sure. Um, except that the Borges Soak Reese is more ripe and therefore more tasty. But it's not noticeably more tasty. I'm not getting any acidity from either one, which I've heard both of them have some sort of acidity. Yeah, so I don't think we can really throw in Socorro Black in there because Socorro Black seems more of a dense texture. It has a more dense, jammy texture to it. Whereas these both are more meaty, but of course they're very jammy. 
Um, they just seem like more fuller figs to me, um, meatier. I think because they're the you know maybe I don't I don't know how to exactly to describe it, but they're they're almost like a different. There's almost like two different types of Sakura Black I've had. Some that are smaller, which have a really dense texture to them, and then I had some that are bigger, sort of like this border soak grease that have more of that meatier texture, but they're all very dense and jammy. And I don't think border soak grease and um, violet support have that. I don't think they have that density that I'm talking about. It seems more watery, more honey filled, bigger acnes. So for me, I don't think they're the same. As Sakura Black, but I do think the two fruits I just ate, I can't really tell much of anything different other than the stem that we just talked about. And the shape because of the size. Everything else seems to be the same. Now, let me show you guys the trees. And you'll notice they do the same exact thing here. Well, I pinched the one, but this is a uh, violet support here, which put out two limbs from cutting, and both limbs are about three feet tall. Let's try to memorize this leaf pattern here in our mind. Five lobes with the, maybe three lobes with these back pieces here, these wings on them. Definitely serrated on the edges. They all seem to look like that. Sometimes the back wings are a bit more prominent, seemingly more prominent. Of course they are in the ground. The fig itself, both of them are putting out fruits. Both limbs are putting out fruits now that I've pinched off the tips to stop this variety from growing. So it's putting out more fruit. And the fruits, keep an eye on this fruit because that looks pretty similar to what I'm looking at on the other tree. And here's my Borgia Soak Grease, which, uh, let's look at the leaf pattern here. Again, three limbs from the base, this one over here, this one, and this one, all three feet tall. We stopped them from growing by pinching them and they were all putting out fruits. This is a more vigorous, it seems like, more vigorous variety. At least it got off to a better start in the ground here. But the both of them are very precocious. Like I said, fruiting at a young age, fruiting very easily. They like to put out fruit. Is this really that leaf pattern we just looked at though? Doesn't seem like it. I mean, this seems to be a, maybe this is pr this is close right here, you know? But this is quite different. Bigger leaves to them. Definitely bigger leaves, but I, want, I think that's just because the tree is stronger. This looks like a very similar leaf. Then I'm seeing, you know, these single lobes I mean, that's probably just because it has different different leaf patterns there. What I'm noticing on a lot of them is that they have this little hook. See this little hook here on the main, the main lobe? Like down there, there's another hook. Here you can see it <clears throat> right there. Let's see, there it is right there. Another one. Another one. All right, let's see if we can find that on the other one. Again, this isn't really. There's one right here. I guess you could count that. Yeah, yeah, here's the hook right here on the side. Another one. Mm. Yeah, even up here, I guess. I would say that they are they have a very similar leaf pattern. Um. But then again, leaves don't mean shit for the most part. Excuse my language. I don't know, guys. That's really damn convincing. I have to, I have to say. 
Got them from the, the park. Literally the trees are right next to each other. I have a trusted source who went to the park and harvested them himself and sent them to me. And they are correctly labeled. The leaf patterns do look a bit different. I'll give you that. But I'm not totally convinced that they're the same or totally convinced that they're different. I really don't know what to think. Um, I have a few more trees that aren't in the ground. We have some in, in pots. And I guess we're just going to have to wait. I can't really give you guys a definitive answer. But I'm now in the camp that they are the same. At least that's my verdict this year. Having them right side by side, right next to each other. That's the best I can do. All right, guys. That is, ah, oh, man, that's strangely close. It's a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. I'll tell you that. Because um, I, as I said, I was biased in the other direction. I was biased towards them not being the same. But all right, everyone, we're going to talk to you all soon. Uh, I'm going to bring these figs in. It's getting really buggy out here. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video, all right? Take care.